moment. So we're expecting a call also from Clean Police Chief Mark Gibson. I believe we have Chief Gibson now. Chief, good morning. Hey, good morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing well. You doing okay? I'm good, buddy. Uh, Cleveland Police Chief Mark Gibson. So, you know, I know there's not a lot you can say publicly, but I did want to invite you on. Obviously, uh, Chief, uh, uh, the Cleveland City School System made the decision uh, to shut down entirely today, including extracurricular activities. What what can you tell us about what led to this decision? Okay, yeah, we we're uh, just uh, this started last night. Uh, from some emails that were concerning. They started out just uh, being concerning that we uh, we started looking at with the school system um, members from our uh, school resource officers and and our um, investigative division started uh, monitoring the situation and we uh, we started making preparations for extra security specifically at Cleveland High School. They were uh, everything was generally um, we felt. Um, uh, centered around Cleveland High School, so um, uh, but throughout the night, these uh, these text messages kept uh, coming, or these emails uh, kept coming through, and uh, so at uh, some point early this morning, the decision was made by the the schools to uh, to close, <coughs> and uh, and uh, we are currently working with our federal partners at the FBI and then, uh, our state partners at uh, Tennessee uh, Homeland Security. And uh, we have our intelligence unit and our special investigations unit and our school resource officers all working together to uh, identify and track down the, uh, the source of the, uh, of the threats. Um, and they seem to send around a certain time. So we're, uh, you know, of course, monitoring that. And um, it's just one of those things that uh, our, our school safety is always a, a top priority and it's a, a cautionary thing. Um, we haven't seen anything specific that makes us think that it's that it could be a, a viable threat at this time. But uh, but we are um, you know it's taking this this uh, a moment to take this caution and uh, make all the attempts to identify uh, who's responsible for the information being being sent. And uh, uh, our whole our, our staff's really working on it, working with the school systems to uh, uh, make the best decisions. You know. We're joined by uh, Cleveland uh, Police Chief uh, Mark Gibson. So I, I want to go back to something you just said, uh, and then I've got a couple questions that we're hearing uh, in the community. But, Chief, you said this is mostly Cleveland High School. Is that right? Yeah, uh, well, it's, it seems to be centered toward uh, uh, toward Cleveland High School. Um, uh, again, it's uh, uh, not to go too much into it because uh, uh, right now the, that information is – what we're going to utilize to try to make an identification on parties responsible for sending. So, um, but that was that was where everything was centered. Our attention was centered. Uh, we were going to take precautions at all the schools, but uh, but uh, that was uh, okay. the, the main uh, campus. The the other the other question I have, and and it's not just me. This is a question we're getting uh, from listeners, from viewers, is. <coughs> The, the press release sent out by the uh, Cleveland City School System says that they will, uh, let's see here, that they will, uh, they intend to resume regular operations tomorrow, Friday. And I guess the question uh, begs a question, and this is what, you know, why tomorrow? Uh, how is tomorrow safer than today? Well, I believe that, uh, and uh, I'm not trying to speak for the school system, but uh uh, kind of how we would monitor this is that that's probably the goal is to um, reach a resolution to where we feel confident that we can that we can continue classes tomorrow, and uh, and so that's uh, that's the anticipation. But as we go through the day, uh, if there are things that we we run across or information that we find or uh, we look at, then uh, that uh, leads us to believe that the the schools. Um, or don't need to open tomorrow, then then we'll address that. But um, but at, at this time, we're we're looking at a resolution and uh, dealing with the situation today. And and uh, as we go out throughout the day, we'll we'll try to make the best decision for uh, for the, the safety and for the school system. So, um, but again, not not trying to speak for the school system, um, just for the, as far as the police department's concerned. Um, 
uh, regardless of the, the schools open to, uh, tomorrow or not, uh, we'll we'll provide a, a, a extra level of security. You know, it's always been our priority to provide as much security as we can as, anyway. But uh, um, we'll make those arrangements to uh, add extra layers if that's if that's the decision the schools make to, to open tomorrow. But uh, it'll be monitored throughout the day. And uh, those those decisions are, are, of course, subject to change. But uh, I think the schools are trying to give you um, a goal and expectation of what 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 their goal is, and uh, with the priority of safety for the kids. And then uh, we're joined by uh, Cleveland Police Chief Mark Gibson uh, commenting on the uh, the Cleveland City School System uh, closing uh, today, as the uh, press release uh, said, due to the receipt of emails. Late last night at uh, multiple schools that may be interpreted as threats. Also, all extracurricular activities involving Cleveland City Schools are postponed for today, Thursday. Uh, th th my final uh, question, I guess, uh, we had uh, the sheriff on a moment ago, uh, Bradley County Sheriff Steve Lawson, and he noted uh, the cooperation between your police department, his sheriff's department. You guys are working together on this, aren't you? Yes, sir. We, we're uh, uh, when the decision was made for the schools to close, our school resource officers were here and available. Uh, so we have uh, those uh, those officers and uh, their supervisors assigned to uh, county schools to uh, help uh, with security of county schools. There has been no uh, no threat. Uh, um, at in the schools, but uh, uh, in the county schools or county, county school systems, we're uh, we just still working with the sheriff's department. Um, our, our people are available, so uh, uh, we we felt like that was uh, the best utilization of those uh, those officers, uh, given the circumstance that we that we have right now. So we're communicating with them and making sure we uh, uh, we provide them whatever resources and help they they need to. Um, uh, you know, that they request. So, All right, Chief, I know you're busy, and uh, we'll look forward to any updates uh, that you have uh, along with the uh, uh, Cleveland City School System later today, and I appreciate your time this morning. Yes, sir, and we, we should be uh, uh, sending some uh, information out uh, uh, through the media as, as soon as we can. We're, we're just trying to um, sure. compile that information to, to 